hydro inverter system of another capacity and they can all work very seamlessly and it is also a space saving uh, design so there is uh, there is um, uh, no need to dedicate a specific place for your micro inverter it sits neatly in uh, under the solar panel itself and it will be attached to that uh, uh, rails so you don't have to dedicate next to your energy meter at your house elevation area um, which has not probably been initially designed this is all coming you anticipated putting a, a an you want to protect your looks of your house and not no ugly and dirty wiring all running all around and it is also ip67 rated so what that means is um it can withstand all your rains and whenever it's too hot or whenever the weather is dusty so it is suitable for all sorts of uh, environmental conditions and uh, and um, it and and it also helps you that okay no cockroach or a lizard or some um, rat bites and all these things are not going to be possible within the inverter because nothing can get into the inverter it is fully sealed um enclosure and Kashmir to Kanyakumari, there are different discoms and each operating voltages um, we have seen which is strong, which is weak, uh, and the voltage levels also will vary from city to city. So uh, whether your house is closer to the transformer or away from the transformer. So via the software, you will be able to um, change these parameters for the Spark Micro Inverter so that you will be able to adapt its application uh, all across India. And it is also uh, safer um, uh, and uh, it is much quicker to install these inverters, uh, which will be appreciated by all of our APC friends because of these reasons. Um, one is your AC trunk cable simplifies the installation. You don't have to bring up all the DC cables out, put them into a box, uh, wait a DC DB and then make it productions, all that. So the, all that wiring, uh, DC side wiring related issues and the cost will be eliminated. Just take the DC cable coming out of the solar panel and plug that directly into the MC4 uh, plugs that are provided here. And it is versatile. So what I mean by that is this is a two kilowatt unit and it's a single phase, but you can put three of them together to make it as a three phase unit to work under on grid situations. That will become a six kilowatt uh, a three phase unit. You can put two of them together to, to realize, or probably three of them together to realize anywhere from one kilowatt to six kilowatt of uh, single phase installations and six kilowatt to even 15, 20, 30, 100 kilowatts of the three phase installations. And the inverter model remains the same. So that, that, um, that uh, saves a lot on the inventory and uh, your training costs um and uh, uh, they want to procure and then keep it uh, for yourself the people who are installing it even mistakenly touching the dc circuit um or the ac side of it are going to be protected because uh, the whole system will not be activated until unless you are going to feed the ac voltage into the uh, spark inverter so these voltages, the individual solar panel voltages are not that hazardous. As you know, it will be less than 60 volts. So it is much safer for the people, trained or untrained, coming accidentally in touch with these DC panels. So your uh, uh, personal is safe. And it is also certified for national and international standards, not only just BIS, it has been certified all across the world. So um, you can rest assured that this is a very high quality product. And the communications is all wireless. So the, the monitoring device and the communication device is uh, is um, uh, having link via Zigbee, and it is a mesh network. So you don't have to worry about where to put, how to put it. They are, all the micro inverters will talk to each other, and they will establish a communication link with the wireless device uh, put somewhere downstairs at a convenient location. It is also having a best in class of uh, warranty and uh, we will be providing warranties up to 25 years on these devices and uh, the component design uh, life estimations that has been done and tested it's up to 30 years 
in our hard hash test that we have tested it for 30 years. And that is possible because we don't use any electrolytic capacitors in our design and electrolytic capacitors are a necessary evil in most of the electronic circuit designs as they start degrading from the fifth year onwards and uh, especially at very high elevated temperatures their performance will go down and uh, we are by eliminating the electrolytic capacitors totally in our circuit we are able to achieve a higher reliability and the lower losses not only for the immediate installations but for the years to come so it is like about five years down the line how efficient is your uh, inverter is going to be and it is also about a brand you can trust of course Many companies can provide you the 25 years or 30 years or 50 years warranty, but if 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 that if the company itself is not guaranteed uh, to stay for such long time in the Indian market, then what is the purpose of having a uh, warranty itself? And then you have the simple terms and conditions. I cannot say that there is a cockroach that has gone inside or there is a lizard sitting next to the fan. So that is the reason there is a failure. I cannot uh, uh, remove the uh, warranty claims there is nothing that can get inside the inverter so all such claims uh, your terms and conditions of your force pressure situations and all will become much more simplified on that front and uh, from the technical support availability you don't have to talk to someone who is outside of the country this is fully available in india so your entire technical support be it from the application side the app development side the onboarding side or the installation or the general queries itself is going to be um, from India itself. And um, more, most importantly, whenever there is a warranty claim, you will uh, you will be getting a new micro inverter because absolutely there is no repairable components inside this device. This is this this is a sealed one and it's fully potted. So that is that is how uh, reliable we made it. And so it's a it's a replacement, not a repair. We also have a Sanjini portal, um, which is uh, the online portal, uh, which is uh, which is uh, made available by the Geo Platforms Limited, and uh, it has been already operational much before the Spark in, was uh, conceived. So this this solution is already working across India, providing the insights to the solar uh, plants that are uh, available in India for many of the. Uh, uh, power plants and the many of the individual uh, owners of the power plants and the same platform will be utilized for and customized uh, for the spark micro inverter as well that will be providing you the the insights of uh, your uh, portal monitoring a based analytics how much you can generate the energy tomorrow what happened to your past um, and uh, there will be weather monitoring and alerts there will be like remote fault trip conditions for example if there is a leakage current that is there on your dc side circuit and due to which your inverter got tripped you will be able to make a call just like any other geo um, uh, customer experience you will be able to call up to your call center and we will be able to do a, a, a complete trip or uh, we will be able to um, understand the fault codes and then we'll be able to provide you the solution and we also have an extensive data archives for the years of data storage. You will be able to dig through and then generate how much amount of energy has been imported, exported from your household. And we will be able to give you the predictive maintenance possibilities as well. That means that if your panel is getting too dirty, then probably you might be able to have an uh, advice for you to go up and then clean the panels. Right. There are two uh, types of communication devices that are available. One JCG, the Geo Communication Gateway, which is an LTE-based uh, backend, so it, it communicates with the micro inverters on the Zigbee. So it collects all that information, and it can send the data directly to the Geo Clouds, as it has an integrated uh, um, uh, the SIM card, which is an eSIM, and then it uses that Cat1 LTE network to send the data back to our portal. And there's absolutely no need for you to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi or there is no dependency on your house. There is, in fact, there is a battery also internal to it. It just gets the energy from your power socket. And uh, this is an IP67 as well. So it, it can be placed, it's an IP65, so it can be placed in an outdoor uh, kind of a situation. And there's another device which works with the uh, Wi-Fi that's called SparkLink. And uh, this device, um, again, connects to the inverter. So from the functionality perspective, it all uh, remains same from the Zigbee side, connectivity side and all. 
but then on the data backhaul, it will be connecting via your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi. So it will be able to send the device um, uh, data to our um, servers without using the LTE connections. This is a, a capture of our Geo Sanjini web app, uh, the dashboard. This is how it's going to look like. Uh, of course, there will be you know some changes and upgrades keep continuing to happen. You will get the KPIs. You will get uh, the energy generation insights. You will get the historical trends. You will be able to see how long it has been online, offline, and all. And uh, in addition to that, you will also get a Sanjini mobile app. So you will be able to, for example, if there is an inverter trip, you will you will not be knowing it until unless you get a higher power bill. Um, in, in, in a typical situation and uh, to avoid that to give you the timely alerts you will be able to um, use the mobile app which will be providing you the necessary alerts it also has an off-grid feature as i mentioned so it has a an off-grid mode which is which differentiates this inverter from the other inverters is uh, whenever the power is available whenever the mains or the grid power availability is there the inverter works just like any other on-grid inverter acting as a uh, acting in current mode pushing all the power back into the grid but whenever the power fails the inverter will be able to detect that condition and it isolates itself and the home load from the mains right so that way you will not be following your anti landing uh, functionality so your entire home you can think of it is running on a gen set right so then by disconnecting it technically you can call this as a micro grid or a nano grid and um, and then you know, as the sun permits it will be providing that much amount of energy for you so this is uh, very much helpful in the situations where you have a lot of power cuts or you are uh, running in uh, hilly areas where there is each power cut means someone has to come and then repair the entire uh, infrastructure that might take uh, weeks together right or there's no power itself because you are uh, your your uh, application is somewhere next to the riverbed there is no uh, there's no electricity available itself right onto a farm or it could be any any other places so this can provide you the electricity without using the batteries so that is an important aspect that there is no energy storage elements present inside the inverter and including the capacitors so we will be taking the energy directly from the sun and then changing that operational mode from on grid mode to off grid mode uh, to run your essential equipment that's the uh, basic introduction about the GeoSpark micro inverters. Hope uh, we will be able to, we have covered uh, 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 some of the questions that you may have, but if you still have some Please questions about the functionality, functionality uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, will, be you will be able to write to, write to, to these uh, emails. Uh, thank you guys for, uh, I mean, like, thank you, Harsha, for uh, giving insight such a wonderful insight into the GeoSpark microinverter. I do understand from a lot of uh, attendees that, like, you know, our presentation was a little blurry. Uh, we apologize for that. We will make it sure that, uh, you know, we'll upload and then we'll share the link uh, of the <clears throat> same to all the participants who have uh, joined the webinar. Uh, I would like to invite now Mr. Uh, Alex. Uh, he is distributor from Kerala. And he has been using Spark microinverters at uh, like, multiple installations done in Kerala by him. So uh, over to you now, Mr. Alex. Uh, thank you, Mr. Anuchi. And uh, still thank you, Mr. Harshadi, that it was a great insight about Spark Converter, even though the slides are a little blur. Thank you, Mr. Rahul, for the wonderful introduction about Watson Energy and Green Factory. First and foremost, we are honored to be the authorized distributor of our GeoSpark in Kerala and Tamil Nadu under the new vertical name Green Factory. In fact, Green Factory has already established its name as the most reliable RE products distributor in South India. I take this experience, this opportunity to share our experience with GeoSpark inverters. We have installed around 200 numbers of spark inverters, mainly in Kerala. And also we have supplied spark inverters to Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. The personal experience is that spark inverters are easy to install, hence reducing installation time. 
The dual mode operation enables end users to harvest more energy from solar, whereas all other inverters fail during grid failures. Most of our installations of spark inverters are in domestic segment using both grid type as well as standalone mode. We are proud to say that GeoSpark inverters are the GeoSpark inverters are installed on the rooftop of ANET headquarters in Kerala. ANET is a state nodal office for renewable energy implementation agency under MNRE. I am very happy to inform that all our customers with the Spark converters are 100 percentage happy with the products. And if you need any further information, please do write to us using given email ID. Thank you and over to Rahul. Thank you, Alex, for uh, such a wonderful introduction. Uh, we have not opened this uh, forum for uh, question and answer from the audience. If you guys have any queries, if the attendees have any queries, we have shared the email ID or you can write uh, where you can write your queries directly to us. We'll be happy to answer them uh, in a short duration of time. Uh, Rahul, anything from your side? Yeah. Uh, I can see that uh, more than 700 uh, participants have attended this webinar. So on behalf of uh, Geo and Innocent, I would like to thanks to all the participants for attending this webinar with so much patience and apology for facing a difficulty in uh, visibility of uh, this presentation video. So certainly we will ensure to correct this during our next webinar. I'm sure this uh, detailed technical presentation uh, will help you to understand the GeoSpark inverter and its operations uh, and the functioning of uh, supporting monitoring devices. Uh, we will keep uh, arranging such kind of webinars for your understanding. Uh, and I would like to thank Mr. Harsha for his wonderful presentation, Mr. Alex for his views and experience sharing about Spark micro inverters. Thanks, Anujji, uh, for hosting this session. I would request uh, all the participants, if there are any queries, if there are any requirements, please do email on a given email ID. We will try to respond uh, your queries and uh, we, will, we would like to associate with new partners also. Thank you very much.